with three days left for Spark and Zero, I thought it would be a good idea to rank the top 10 people I would be using in Spark and Zero. Before I tell you my first character, let me show you how I would be deciding who to pick. In my lineup, I'm gonna have a variety of people. What type of people you might be asking? Well, in the 10 slots, I have to have at least one overpowered character, one balanced character, one underdog slash underrated character, one joke character, and one android character. Now with that out of the way, let's start with the first one. My first character will be Super Vegito. Now most of you are probably thinking, okay, that's your overpowered character out the way. And to that, I would say yes. If it was Gogeta instead of Vegito. We all know in Spark and Zero, Gogeta is definitely getting more love. So there's no reason to call Vegito an overpowered character when Gogeta is sitting right there. And it hurts to say that because I like Vegito more than Gogeta. My reason for picking Vegito is simple. He's my favorite character. Well, character is stretching it. My favorite fusion out of the four. That's what he is. His fighting style is insane. Crossed arms and just kicking you. Bro heard the term belt to ass and said, nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. And the way he just alternates from fist to kicks is wild. Using that SEO switch technique at full power. His skill set is definitely gonna be cool too though. The sword, big bang attack, and add blue on top of that, crazy. If I would put Vegito anywhere, I'd put him at number... Let's put my number four. Can't disrespect my goat or he'll disrespect me. My next character is gonna be Gamma 2. But since he's DLC and not gonna be in the game at launch, I'm gonna sub him in with Android 13. Android 13 slash Gamma 2. They're gonna be my Android characters for the game. If you know me well, then you know why Gamma 2 is on my list. But if you don't know, Gamma Impact. That's clearly it. Well, that and your boy is a hero. But his substitute, Android 13. Suppose I could when you were before I killed Goku. The best redneck Dragon Ball Z has ever created. And they only made one. So there you go. A menace with SS Deadly Bomber. Then add the chip and breast implants. And it's already over. I've never seen someone get downright dribbled like a basketball. And then get a vasectomy on the same day. If I were to put Android 13 anywhere, it would be number 7. Good spot for both, but I got some others to get to as well. Hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You don't have to, to be honest, you making it to the end of this video is all I needed. Hope you guys enjoyed and expect the next video in a couple hours.